said, hey, what a wonderful kind of day where we can learn to live and play and we're a bird lawyer. I'm glad to hear it. Did you want to have something else? No, that's it. We're playing not Harvey Birdman, attorney at law. Also, they had the opportunity to name that show Harvey Birdman, attorney at Caw, and they didn't. <laughs> I mean, he's not a bird. You know, it's a fun game I like to play when I'm bored at work sometimes. Well, I used to play at my old work, not now. I would type in a bunch of random letters or a random word and then acronym and just see what, like, professions or businesses use that thing as an acronym and what it stands for. Oh. Yeah, so like here, uh, give me a, give me a word, Brian. Chewing. Let's see, chewing acronym. Sometimes it takes a little bit. If I want Jesus to chew. Rice Sparrowson. Wing it. You don't like dad jokes? Only when I make them. Okay, I don't have chewing, but I have chew. Nope, it's gotta be chewing. I don't know. This one for chew is really good. You know what chew is, Brian? Mm. The culinary history enthusiast of Wisconsin. I hate it. We don't talk about Scotties. Ooh. Ooh, Brian picking fights. They're really good for one thing, and that's the shoulders. <laughs> when I typed in chewing acronym, you know it popped up. <laughs> Stupid. What? <laughs> MN.gov, which I think is Minnesota.gov. It is. I'm A dictionary of, of slang for the letter B in colloquialisms in the United Kingdom. Okay. It's just like so. Here's a baby, noun, baby. Oh, baby gravy. We all know what that is. Yeah. Um, Brian, what does back scuttle mean? Well, a scuttle is a fight. A back scuttle be behind. So I'm guessing a fight behind a building. No, it's butt sex. Oh, well, close. Ooh, uh, ew, what about badly packed kebab? What in like Jesus' name was that? <laughs> A badly packed kebab. <laughs> Go ahead, Gus. What's a badly packed kebab? I don't know. If you guessed female genitalia, you'd be correct. Oh. Oh, I get it. Arby's, we got the meats, you know. Well, what about, here's another one. Balmy. B L B A L M Y. Balmy? Balmy. Um, it's when your nuts are hitting her chin, it's a little sweaty out. No, it's uh, slang for crazy, insane. Huh. Oh, I know this one. Bamboozle. That's a favorite. You've been bamboozled. Exactly. It was our idea all along. Oh, they have barf in here. He's a mom, you know. <laughs> Barry White. <laughs> Barry White's name is just in this list. It means garbage or pooping. Man, some of these are really bad. <laughs> Bearded clam. I don't like that. Bedford cheer to go to sleep. <laughs> oh, bees knees. That's a classic. I use that all the time. I do too. One of my really good friends, she got the funniest tattoo. 
she got a B on her knee. And she's like, hey, you want to see my tattoo? Make sure. And I'm like, oh, my God, that's pretty sick. Like, yeah. Yeah, getting it was really the bee's knees. <laughs> Fucking killed me. All right, guys, give me a word to look up an acronym of. Oh, that's easy. So, um, there's an acronym uh, for um, healthcare called Describe, Investigate, Create, and Evaluate. Hmm. There is DICE as in a DICE framework, which is Duration, integrity, commitment, and effort. Uh, the divisions, the division of industry and consumer education. That's part of the FDA. Gus, what would you do if a duck walked up to your lemonade stand and asked if you had any grapes? I'd tell him my nails feet to the ground. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. Brian, what would you do? Would you also nail this duck's feet in the ground? I'd nail his bill to the ground. Whoa! Where are you guys oh, getting these know. nails? Uh, how do you think we built the lemonade stand? Oh, yeah, right. Brian, Brian sent me a video of a girl farting into a pan. He didn't have to tell them that. Oh, she lit on fire too. <laughs> did you hear? Did you watch it with sound? Oh yeah, I did. Of course. Is it good? <laughs> I found that's out the other day. And I thought of you. That's been a trend lately, where like it's just like people farting in the jars or pots because it makes funny reverb. <laughs> Gus, when's the last time you had a funny fart? Uh, I don't know. You don't use farttracker.net? I do not. I always get a good fart after a long day of eating greasy food, then I lie down on my bed and, like, on my stomach, so it just pushes it out. <laughs> oh, I know. I'm gonna look up farttracker.net now. Please don't. Cause... Okay, it's just the park though, man. Thank God. <laughs> Is that the new Northern Folk Lodge homepage redirect? <laughs> Jesus. You know what game I wish had a crossover? Um, Loco Roco and God of War. No. Pokemon oh. and Monster Hunter. It could be Pocket Monster Hunter. Except no, they made they made the make like really good looking Pokemon fights, like fight a Groudon or something like that. Well, maybe. maybe like really good like armors based off these Pokemon. I think it'd be dope. <gasps> We're in trial. We're in trial. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> Is this where Gus finds out that there's actually a game over screen we didn't find? Yes. I've been following his actions on a on a chart. We're fucked. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, Gus, next time you have a funny fart, can you just text Sarah, Queen Sarah? I mean, I can. Especially if it's like, if she's in the room. <laughs> the center text, he, he, I farted. <laughs> oh my god. So if you're King Gus, she's Queen Sarah. Can you have a kid and just call them the artist formerly known as the Prince Gus? Absolutely. No, Gus. You understand that if you ever have a child, Mm -hmm. They have to take over the YouTube channel when you die. 
my my children will probably learn video editing at a young age. Okay. Now they're like, this shit's fucking lame. I'm gonna go play sports. <laughs> oh my god, could you imagine? <laughs> Actually, ha being half Sarah's genetics, it's fair. I just imagine you're like, my only son, I entrust with thee the Northern Folk Lodge. Yeah, yeah, all right, Daddy, can you drop me to practice? <laughs> oh my god. Wait. Why are you talking like that? You're only like 42, man. This is Gus dying while his kids are teenagers? Is that what's going on? No, no, Gus is just setting it up to be like when he's like 15 or 16, so it's like really memorable and sticks with him. I mean, if we were to have a kid like within the next year at 15 or 16, I'm in my 50s. <laughs> How old are you? 32. What? <laughs> yeah. God damn, man. I'm sorry. I was, I, 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 I was gonna make the comment, you guys are talking about funny farts and stuff, and I'm like, I haven't trusted farts in two years, I don't dare. <laughs> oh, don't worry, oh. I don't trust them. Oh, this character here. Not Sparrowton, but the guy was just on. I like this guy a lot. Not yeah. him. No, you'll see. Just look, just wait. Oh, <laughs> hilarious! <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not looking for kids at my age. I'm looking for a dink. Oops. Double income, no kids. Well, right now, you have uh, single you have, income, no kids. You, you have oink. I no single income. No, no oink. Single. You're oink. One income, no kids. I'd rather be sync because oink would imply that I'm fat and I know I am and I don't want people going, hey oink. No, you're a pay pig, but only to yourself. Yeah, I do buy myself nice things. <laughs> yeah, you do. Like that slow poke. That is nice. I had to, I had to push the beedrill one aside for it. Uh, it wasn't a beedrill one, you lie. Oh, what if I bought it and giving you to Christmas and I didn't send you a picture? Uh, you did not because I didn't make a beedrill post. They don't make those. Have you not seen the sitting cuties? There's not a lot of Beedrill stuff, man. I know when it comes out. <laughs> what are you running, BeedrillTracker.com? No, but at one point I did have a thing set up that would notify me whenever there's Beedrill merch added to the Pokemon's website. <laughs> you like Beedrill or Weedle more? Honestly, Weedle, but you know what? Beedrill's a good boy, too. Because I like Slowbro a lot, but there's more Slowpoke merch, so I like Slowpoke a lot. My love for Weedle started with Weedle, not his older brothers. I liked him because nobody, like, everybody hated him. And one of my favorite YouTubers, who doesn't make content anymore and it makes me sad, please upload again, man. <laughs> he, um... He was just like, yeah, fuck yeah, Weedle. He was just all excited. He's like, I want to keep this Pokemon party, even if it isn't great. Oh, shit. Do they have it in stock? What oh, website is this? Brian, focus on the game in our conversation. Stop shopping. I'm looking up Slowpoke stuff. Sorry. You're addicted. I know I am. And you're addicted to nicotine. Can we continue on? Give up your slowpoke addiction for 28 years. <laughs> no. I know you get the shakes when you haven't seen a slowpoke in a couple days. Man, Virginia was hard. Yeah, Brian decided to do the um, Northern Folk Lodge travel challenge of visit a new place and have Viagra every <laughs> single day. How'd that challenge go, Brian? It was hard. Mm -hmm. All right, Sparrowson, you've you've won some favors in my book. Yeah, he's pretty great. Hey, Gus, can we go on a trip? Uh, you, me, and Queen Sarah. But you and I do everything, and she third wheels, and like we hold hands and shit all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I feel like she'd laugh at that. 
Probably. And I feel like after like a day of it, she'd get really close, like up in my face, like in my ear, and she'd be like, just remember, he's my fucking man. <laughs> and that's when you squeeze Gus's butt. <sighs> it's true, I haven't squeezed Gus's butt in a long time. It's been a hot minute. Listen, Gus, we can't play fire truck with each other, so. Yeah, play night crawlers instead. What? What is night crawlers? Have you not seen um, Always Sunny? Not really. I only watched little bits and pieces. Uh, let's just. Oh. Huh. Now, Gus, I have a personal question for you. Yes. When was the last time you went to like FYE or like a movie section of somewhere and bought a movie? Like, you went out of your way to buy physical media of a movie. Uh... Within the last couple months. What was it? I don't even remember. We buy movies all the fucking time. That's right, you're a data hoarder brother like me, aren't you? I've become one. I try to find digital copies with my 4K Blu-rays, though. So that I can have both. But ever since the Wii U and 3DS eShop closed down, and I was heavily into the digital copies of my games on those consoles, I'm a little more timid about buying uh, digital media in any. Oh, that's right, because you once those actually shut down for good, you can't re-download shit, can you? Nope. I'm actually terrified to plug in my Wii U because I've heard a lot of people are having Wii U failures right now. That's really sad. I know it must cost a ton of money. You almost bought what? A movie. Physical. Oh, what movie? Uh, Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring Extended Edition. Nice. I actually, uh, I, I bought, um, I bought the, uh, trilogy, uh, in 4K Extended Edition over the summer. Nerd. I'm very excited about it. Is that what we're going to do when I uh, come up guess? We're just going to watch that to say screw recording and just spend the entire weekend watching that. God, I'm down. No, we have to record a little bit, man. We got to at least finish Ocarina. Yeah. And film a micro adventure. Mm -hmm. Leave in the comments what you think our micro adventure should be. And we have to do it, so please don't put something like Find the Ark of the Covenant or Fucked. Whose blood was it, Gus? I assume the frogs. I think this is a pretty open and shut case, to be honest. There's a cat near me, Gus. What do I do? Just pat it. All right, Ellie, come here. Oh yeah, you can you can kind of hear it in my uh, Audacity file. The cat, yeah, I can hear it. Yeah, I can hear it. Like it's loud as day, we can hear it. 
Good. She likes it. She likes getting butt pats a lot like a dog. I actually got my uh, slowpoke today. To be fair, this cat's also built like a dog. She's chunky. Whenever she comes in bed to cuddle, I feel like I suffocate a bit and I always wake up. I'm like, what are you doing? Why are you laying on me? <laughs> yeah. You're just built for snacking, that's all. Me too. You learned from me. I am your I'm your dad. Although if that was the case, that'd also imply something terrible. You're not her step. You're not the stepdad. You're the dad that I was the dad that stepped up. And accidentally on her. <clears throat> what? wow. You you don't tell me you haven't accidentally stepped on your cat's Taylor pot at least once in the night. <laughs> During the night, I stepped on Ellie's part during the day like two weeks ago. <laughs> See? Listen, she's stupid. I love her, but she's a bit dumb. Probably because you kicked her as a baby. I don't know. I didn't have her as a baby. But I, her mom lives with us. That's the other cat. Is the is the dad the rabbit? Yeah. But she's so sweet and loving, but she this cat lays in the middle of the floor. And I mean, like, the middle. And she'll sprawl out because she's big. It looks like she just melts and takes up the whole hallway. And sometimes if you step over her, she'll, like, swat at you because she's mad. Or she'll lay down in a way where you don't see her paws because she's a black and white cat. And then, like, you'll walk near her and she'll go, go, meow. But she was, like, Laying down, I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna walk over. She got up and tried to run away, and I stepped on her paw a little bit, and I just heard like a pew. And then she swatted at me. I'm like, it's your fault, dumbass. Stop licking my toes. You're being a freak. Stop it. Don't make me put my smelly socks in your face. Oh shit, she don't, likes it. Don't threaten her with a good time. Um, <laughs> clean tissues because I have allergies. No. No, that didn't work. I don't know, I give up. Oh, you lick my toes again, though. I'm gonna be sad. Gus, when's the last time someone licked your toes? Hope never. You ever wake up with sweaty feet in the morning, Gus? Not usually. Well, if you ever had those, actually just me licking your tootsies. Oh god. Listen, I'm just savoring the flavor, man. I hate the thought of it. <laughs> you wake up in the middle to see me just going like... Just anyone, mm. anything licking my toes. I hate the L thought of that I wake up with a sweaty head and it's someone from licking my head. <laughs> Ellie, oh my god, get the fuck out of here. She's like army crawling her way to the power strip of my computer. Get out of here. She's gonna hit the button. She she has before. <laughs> my power strip used to be on my desk at my old house. And I had to tape it on and she'd walk over and just step on it and turn it off and look at me dead in the eyes when I was doing something. Yeah, get out of here. You can stay over there. Where my feet and power strip are not. Oh, she just licked my finger. Ugh. So, how do y'all feel about this YouTube premium shit going down? What's happening now? That's what I'm saying. Like, I can't have ad block now. If I don't want to watch YouTube. Oh, yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. I have ad block on, buddy. Are you using Opera? Oh, yeah. I'm not. I'm using Chrome. I might switch to Opera just because of it. I don't know. I've, I've paid for YouTube Premium for fucking ever at this point. I don't see myself stopping. It's because you're an addict. Well, I also have a family plan that gives me, my brothers, my mom, my wife, and my sister-in-law all access to YouTube Premium, YouTube Music, and our movie libraries are shared. See, I don't have And it only costs me like 20 bucks a month. 
See, I'm already doing Netflix, Crunchyroll. Disney like Plus just Disney went up Plus. like what three dollars in price or something mm-hmm. per month. There's nothing I'm gonna watch on there. I might just just uh, get rid of it. I gotta keep it for Bluey. I'm good. Oh, maybe I'll finish DuckTales first, then I'll cancel it. I mean, you can always use mine. Too. I mean, I would never share my, my streaming accounts with people who don't live with me. Uh, honestly, like, even more with, like, the you can only have one screen on at a time, you have to pay more for multiple screens. It's like, dude... That's not how you make money. That's how you lose money. I mean, I remember when they had a thing where like only three people would have it on at once. It's like, that's fair. But like, if I have an account for my house and somebody's watching one thing, I want to watch something else. Like, come on. You're being fucking stinky. Wait. I'm not looking forward to the day say... that Disney does it. All I'm gonna say is ads for videos make me not want to buy the uh, product. They make me not want to watch the movie either. Like every single Will Smith movie. No, no, no. Shark Tales is pretty good. No, no, like the, the newer stuff. I don't even know he's making movies. Thought he's too busy at home crying and. Suicide out. Squad was a great example. I heard that was actually good though. I saw so many fucking ads for it, and then all the weird shit that Jared Leto did. Like, yeah, sending people his poop and stuff. I was just like, cool, I don't care if this is my movie of the year, I'm not watching this. The, and the worst part is like, it's like, oh, it's catered ads. Like, this isn't a catered ad, this is a movie company paid you millions to shove it in everyone's face. Believe it or not, no, I don't want to watch this rom-com about two really rich people. This is a great video. It's so good. <laughs> I got I got su- consumed with reading it. I mean, this is a really good game and like I love the trial scenes. They should make a John Wick spin-off series where it's just Sparrowson. Yes, mm-hmm. please. Fraud. Oh. 
Falcon's eyes make me think that he's like fucking turtle headed man. <laughs> oh, I can get the G1 Power Rangers Megazord for $31 on Amazon right now. Get it. Something. Odds are you get it. No, I already spent too much on Christmas gifts. I'm so happy you bought me a 28 pound jar of grape jelly. It's actually strawberry jelly. Fuck. With little grapes floating inside of it. Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> and by the time it gets to you, they will have been liquefied by the jelly. Oh, 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 oh. that's gross. It's almost like the reverse of a raisin. Oh, Overhydrating. <laughs> Hey, Gus, you want an inverse raisin? Or... Drink some water. Gus, how many grapes could you eat in one sitting? Oh god, I don't know. Grapes are like one of my favorite fruits. I feel like I could like, eat a whole bunch. I could eat a whole bag of grapes. I feel like I could eat like 10 pounds of grapes in one sitting if I was really hungry and craving them. Yeah. Especially with cotton candy grapes. Oh. I've never had cotton candy grapes. They're good. This tastes like sweet. All right, question for y'all. What's the best fossil Pokemon, in your opinion? Like, what's Relic your uh, Relicanth. Not a fossil Pokemon. Fucking should be. I mean, you would think so. It's, no, because it's not dead yet. It's a living fossil. It is the living fossil Pokemon. So I stick by my answer because technically it's a fossil Pokemon. I'm a big fan of uh, Shield on Ambassador. I like my Armadillo Boy a lot. Armaldo or whatever. Oh, like the bug one? Yeah. Yeah. He's not the living fossil Pokemon. What is he then? The longevity Pokemon. Oh, fucking stupid. Cause where at one point he was the living fossil Pokemon. <clears throat> I think it's Colacanth that were considered the living fossil, which she's they're based off of. Oh, well, maybe. I remember when I first learned about those, it changed my life. I don't know why. Hey, Gus. Mm hmm? I was thinking, and... We should go visit the toy store. Oh, yeah? I haven't been up there in a while. I like getting board games. You think he, uh, he'd let's film in there? Probably. Can you imagine we did a video where we just go in there? Uh, I think it'd be fun though. I mean, I, I, I would love to definitely shout out the business. I just want his permission first. He's a very nice man. Mm hmm. Who. Even though Gus lived in this area for years, um, he remembers me more than Gus, and he's only seen me like maybe a dozen times now. I used to buy magic cards from this man at least twice a week when I was in college for two years. I go up to visit that town and I go to his store and he's like, oh, hey, where's where's your big friend Jeremy? No, where's the Wookiee? Your first use the Wookiee. Yeah. I was assigned the title of a Tinky Winky Wookiee Bastard Fuck. Hmm. Because, quote, I was too damn happy all the time. Because the person who called me that, I was just the only person who'd go out of my way to say good morning to him. That's all I did. <laughs> Nobody else talked to him. So I'm like, I'll talk to you. Like. I know you don't love it, but like if it's one person and it's me genuinely asking how you're doing, you'll like it. 
He put on the facade like he hated it. He loved that shit. Uh, R.I.P. He's not dead, but R.I.P. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, for like three or four new years now. It's just, I'm, I, I walk in a store if people from that job walk into that store. It's always just like, hey, where's the Wookiee? And every time I go in uh, the off season of uh, the summer camps, he's always like, what the hell are you doing up here? He always gets so like, dude, what are you doing? Yeah, I guess let's buy a house in that town. You want to go uh, split season on a house, guys? <laughs> you have the money for it, bud. Oh, well, if I have the half a million dollars to get a fucking crack shack? Yeah. A, a, a home that used to be a tuberculosis haven. Hey. Joke's on you. I want TB. No. No, don't do say don't do that. <laughs> I I can't get it though. Do you know why I can't get it? I'm inoculated, baby. I got tested for tuberculosis like a year or two ago and got the uh, vaccine. I get tested every year for my work. Do you want it? Not particularly. Gus, you're a healthcare professional. Sure. <laughs> I mean, technically, you te technically you are. Yeah. Fuck, as long as you're more than me. What do you think is the worst disease to die of? That like is not like a one in a trillion chance they get kind of thing. Ooh, I know the answer to that actually. Oh. I have an answer too. My answer is tetanus. You want mine? Sure. Ligma. Damn. I, I knew you were gonna say ligma. I fucking knew it. <laughs> oh my god. It's actually dementia. Oh, that one is really bad. My grandpa had it. I'm sorry, man. That sucks. No memes. That's just terrible. Yeah. Even the best cases of dementia are heartbreaking for everyone involved. And I'm afraid it's I was, I was gonna say, family, so like my dad and stuff. Yeah, I was gonna say, de dementia is the answer I would give you. Um, more because uh, people don't want to lose their loved ones, like plain and simple. And when you have dementia, like you basically at a certain point lose Everyone. your atom. A, 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 autonomy yeah and your loved ones have to make those decisions of your health care or even keeping you alive in some I, cases i have there there is a branch of alzheimer's that actually runs in my family that is actually named after my great great my great grandmother's surname and i told my oh. wife multiple times because my grandmother has it right now i'm like if I ever get it, I'm like, give me stuff to help slow the dementia process. But if I end up in a home or something, like, don't sit Full there and far. try to keep me alive forever and ever. Because at a certain point, you just I've, I've seen so many people that I've fallen in love with live too long. And that that sounds terrible, I'm sure. But these people just end up suffering, and I, I hate watching it, and I hate the thought of it ever happening to me. So, Gus, do I have your permission? If God forbid that ever happens to you, I can take you out back to a field and put you down? I've, I've joked with Sarah that uh, I, I need her to just uh, let me sit under a tree in the backyard and watch the sunset one last time, put me out old yellow style. <laughs> no, no, the rabbits, George. <laughs> I'll have you go to the bunny barn. <laughs> I was not paying attention to what these people were saying as their back button. Yeah, dementia is absolutely terrible. That's like something I wouldn't wish upon my worst enemy, kind of thing. Yeah, no. 
it's a slow decay and it's just you slowly like losing all concept of reality and familiarity and everything's terrifying or confusing at best so when you were talking about the whole you've seen too many loved ones like lived for too long i don't know why but it sounded like the monologue that a big bad evil guy gives before the final fight <laughs> It does oh sound like. God. Oh, well, that's why I say it. Like it sounds horrible, and when I say that, I mean like because I work in I work in a nursing home. Like I fall in love with the people I take care of. That's the nature of my occupation, and yeah. you know, somebody who was able to walk around and have a conversation with me three years ago could be lying in bed, just you Vegetable. know miserable not knowing where they are shitting themselves and being fed pureed food three times a day y you know what i mean and that's that's not quality of life and i understand yeah, that no. family members don't want to see grandma or mom pass away but it's going to happen to all of us you gotta be way. humane eventually and say that you just gotta pull the plug yes or or at the very least just let them go comfortably you know, it doesn't have to be a pull the plug situation. It can be, you know, give him a just... bunch of DMT and this slowly IV drip them poison. Well, the protocol when somebody's actively passing away is we basically give them pain meds until they pass. Just they're not going to feel any pain, and that's right, the way you they do go. DMT because then mentally they're going to live for like another forty years in the span of five minutes. Jesus, hey man. <laughs> I, I would never, like, use DMT ever. Reading the stories and, like, experiences people have had with it, it's crazy. That's what I'm going to do for you now. <laughs> you're you're like, on a DMT if you're going to die. Uh, you want to know why I said tetanus? Lockjaw? Well, lockjaw, and also, um, at some point, your body starts seizing so hard that it starts slowly powderizing all of your bones. Gross. Yeah, and it's a super preventable thing that still happens a lot in first world countries like the U.S. Because people are like, "Oh, I don't need a tetanus shot," or "Oh, like rusty metal, whatever." Stay up on your tetanus shots. It's a terrible way to go. Mm hmm. Anyway. Then rabies. Fun game. Anyway, back to the not absolutely soul crushing, depressing talk. <laughs> um. Hmm. What's something cheery I can bring up? Oh. Oh, I just lost the thought. Oh, I had, um. I farted the other day, and it sounded like one of those uh, thermal imploders from Star Wars. I'm sorry, the what? The imploders, the ones that go like... Can you talk about from Jango Fett ship? Well, that's like a big version, but yeah, like that, uh, that sound. That's terrifying. <laughs> you like the idea of that? Gus, can you edit in that sound right now? Yeah. Imagine that, but my butt doing it. <laughs> oh my god. Then you just hard cut the footage of like a city being wiped out by a sound wave. <laughs> you do that scene in Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the original, with when the bomb goes off. Oh, with the EMP in DC? Yeah. <laughs> oh, in um, the Arab country, whatever. Not in DC, mm -hmm. the original Modern Warfare. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Modern Warfare 2 is the one where the EMP Washington, D.C., which... That that specific scene scared me so much. Really? I mean, I was old. I was, like, a teenager when I played but, like, the idea of, like, man, you really could just absolutely ruin this country if you EMP one spot. Like, imagine the EMP in New York City. Like, yeah, they can fix it. It'll take a few hours. The world economy would fucking crash. 
the New York City Stock Exchange is the biggest stock exchange on the entire planet. A lot of international banks run through New York City. It's spoopy. I like, how the, I like how the judge is just like, can someone please restrain the fucking lion? Like, just so casually about it. That's when they call on a slightly bigger lion to do it. <clears throat> whoa! He called him a jackdaw? Whoa, whoa, you can't say that word. That's a bird people word. <laughs> Let's you play this kind of game. You should go watch Beastars. <clears throat> oh, Beastars is a good Amina. The Maybe shitty part about season. having me play this game is I know I'm going to end up diving right back into Ace Attorney after we log off for the <laughs> night. I mean, those are good games. I may be in a rabbit hole for them. Those and the... Uh, Professor uh, Layton. I actually haven't played a Professor Layton. I've been playing the Famicom Detective Club. And I want more of those. We should do um, Professor Layton on here. I've heard it's really good. I've heard good things. My friend, uh, shout out to Voyan, a uh, fellow YouTuber, did a very good series of videos on Professor Layton. I think it's actually still in progress right now. Yeah, go check him out. Yeah, it'll be great for all, all three people that watch this video. Yeah. Actually, at this point, we've been we've been at this episode for like an hour, so I guarantee nobody's watching. Shout out to Boyan. Love you, Casey. You're great. Collab with us. Make sure you title this video The Saddest Discussion Ever in Aviary Attorney. It has nothing to do with the game. <laughs> right. <laughs> but hey, man. The whole vibe of the Northern Folk Lodge is just French chit chatting, and sometimes the shit gets fucked up. Yeah. We went down uh, some some real hard paths. Did you see that screen? It said Nod Guilty. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, is Falcon gonna fuck the cat now? Hey, it's Jesus Love Gamer 93. Uh, just here to tell you that vaccines are good for you. Please take them. But, uh, I wouldn't take the vaccine to Ligma. I've heard it's pretty dangerous. Mm-hmm. Jesus love Gamer 93 out. Jesus love Gamer 93 is probably my favorite persona we've come up with. <laughs> really? Yes. It's so stupid. <laughs> the idea of him is so stupid, and I love it. Because you know that person exists. Oh, 100%. <laughs> That's what makes it good. Brian, do you like Jesus Love Gamer 93? No. I think I told you about this, that, that bit. Did I tell you about it, Brian? No, you haven't. Well, it's one of the, like, you ever, like, see those Let's Play channels where it's run by someone who's, like, they're a Christian and they're really, really, really into their faith. So they bring it up, like, every five minutes. I've heard that before, yeah. Yeah, it's Damn. just like one of those things. Really? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes the people you're defending are the actual monsters, Gus. Damn. No, the way she was talking about playing Koi, I thought I was right and Falcon really was gonna fuck her. I was like, oh shit. I didn't expect this twist.
Fucking it's incredible. I fucking love this. Yeah, Good. you didn't see it coming, did you? No, I did not. Wow, gee, thanks. Oh. All right. Well, thanks everybody for joining us at the Northern Folk Lodge. Remember to like and subscribe and watch out for your cat because probably murder you. And remember, friends, it takes zero energy to not be a dick. So just be a little bit of a dick. Save your energy. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. Uh. Uh.